This is another part of why I'm a skeptic series. This one has to do with fallibility. And this is something I think is important because I see this happen a lot. You know, you look at the, especially coming up with the new Pope. You know, or people like Ken Ham, Ken Tobin. You know, these guys that are claimed to, be, to have knowledge about things. Chip Deepak Chopra, Chopra, however you pronounce his name. Saw a video with him, you know, and he had this real arrogance about them. They, you know, they're talking about subjects they don't really know, yet they act like they do and people buy it. People just accept what they're selling. You know, the Pope, he said some stupid stuff. The Pope has had to backtrack. People have had to backtrack about what Popes have said in the past. You know, yet they're supposedly infallible. And yes, I do realize they have reasons why you know, the Catholics come up with excuses. But the point is they're supposed to be the Word of God. It's going to be fallible some stuff. How are you supposed to know what they're fallible and infallible about? Is it stuff that they don't backtrack later? Was it stuff they were always <laughs> infallible about? You know, just these problems of you know, accepting what someone says because they appear to be an authority figure. You know, science often gets accused of this. You know, I'm sure someone has accused me of doing that with science, but the problem is with science, it's tested. It's repeated. Multiple pe people look at it. People are trying to outright refute it. You know, with religion, conspiracy theories, and whatnot, they're trying to prove what they already accept. They're not looking for disproving evidence. And we see this a lot of times, you know. I've had discussions, you know, with people who said that Alex Jones was right about a few things, therefore they're right about everything else, you know. And Hoban puts a little bit of facts in this stuff, and then he's right about all the stuff he makes up. The pastor, you know, the Pope, whatever figure you're looking at, has some things right, therefore everything is right. You should always be skeptical about what people are t telling you. Now look into it yourself, test it. You know, look to disprove, don't look to prove what you want. You know, we're fallible human beings. You know, we make mistakes. We lie. You know, we make up stuff. As I said with anecdotal evidence, people's memories aren't perfect. Especially the from the event you get. So you need to, again, test everything. And I don't think people do this enough. Well, I run into a lot of stuff with creationists, theists, conspiracy theorists, um, racists, whatever the subject, and they're convinced about something, and they're not going to accept any evidence to the contrary because somebody they consider an authority figure told them the contrary. Yeah. And it... <laughs> creates a problem of never learning something. You're always holding on to the bad baggage because you're afraid to look at it. So, I don't know, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. And if you have any questions about why I'm a skeptic or stuff, comment down below and I'll put them into a video. You know, I'm always open for ideas for this series or any of my series.